This video is for Math 1087, and I'm looking at page 8. Um, just going to do two problems real quick and walk you through it at least to get you to a certain point. The order of operations is explained on uh, page 7, and um, mentioned about doing parentheses first, and then exponents, and then after that multiply and divide, and the last step is add and subtract. And uh, I always like to tell my students to uh, remember the little acrostic. Let me write it down here. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And so picture, you know, some heavy set, funny aunt who just dresses crazily, and you're telling your friends, you know, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. But it reminds us that we do parentheses first, then any exponents, and then in the next step you do all the multiplying and dividing, and the last step is adding and subtracting. So let's walk through uh, this example right here. <clears throat> and uh, for this one, we are told that x equals 7. So we're going to substitute that in place of x here. So that would give me 12 minus 7 times 4 minus 1. And that part of it is being divided by 3. All right, so we do have parentheses, so I do that first. 4 minus 1 is 3, so 7 times 3. And that would give me 21, right? And then you would take the 21 and divide by 3. And then once you have that answer, which hopefully that's obvious to you, then you can finish that problem. I'm not going to do it for you, or I'll give you the answer to one of your homework problems. Let's look at this one, and this one we have exponents, so it's a little bit different. I am told that x is 5. So I'm going to plug in 5 in place of x. So I get 2 squared times 4 times 5 divided by 5, the quantity squared, minus 7 times 3. So I want to do the uh, parentheses first. So in this parentheses, I have 4 times 5, which is 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So this whole thing now becomes 2 squared times 4 squared minus 7 times 3. All right? And so now we can do 2 squared is 4. 4 squared is 16 minus, and you know what 7 times 3 is. And then it's just a matter of finishing this multiplying, and your last step is subtraction. All of these problems look confusing, all right, on page uh, 8, and even when you get to 9 and 10. They look challenging, but when you just follow these steps, okay, plug in the number they give you, and uh, don't start at the end and work to the left. Always start at the left, work to the right. Do parentheses first, then deal with the exponents. Then do any multiplying and dividing in the same step. And then the last step is to do adding and subtracting. Um, try that and uh, see if you don't get the right answers. Um, score it. If you get them wrong, go back and look at the order of operations. That's probably where you made your mistake.